the manok is in the tree, the batog, and then the other manok down the road was like calling it, I swear, and now the older manok are calling, and it's super early in the morning. Oh, look at the Philippines! Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door your favorite music gone all the way baritone oh, yeah. shut the lights go in front it's nice here yeah man sunbathing in the morning Capita. where's that where's that to be is that him yeah, the it's the big one, no? Big is it one. the is it the one that's impregnating them all? Mm. The alpha. The alpha. <laughs> that one right there. Mm. Yeah, there yeah. you are. <laughs> the gangster chicken. There you are. some coffee we're gonna have a good day it's just so classic this is province life Blackie feels at home. Uh, this is an interesting thing, guys. In Canada, I didn't grow up with animals. I mean, we had some hamsters and gerbils when I was really young with my sister. But besides that, I never had a dog. Uh, I never had a cat or pets. Um, Oi, Blackie, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Transferring sides. Uh, the Philippines, living especially in the province here, it's really you know, turning me more into an animal lover. Um, one, one thing I will say though, uh, if you're somebody who loves dogs, it can be very tough because everywhere you go in the country, literally everywhere, uh, there's stray dogs on the road. And um, I was actually talking to Brett the other day and when he comes back, he's looking forward to working with uh, organizations who help stray dogs and again that's something I really would love to do too. Another thing, you might be wondering why are there beer bottles under our table? That's because those beer bottles are good for cattle. Those little spirally things that push away mosquitoes. The past few weeks has been really really la mock season and that's one reason why we're kind of clearing some stuff and I'm just fighting back against the bugs, so. Bugs, chickens, dogs under the table. Brad. Oh. Brad, Brad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to the coast. To the coast. 
<laughs> if you want to follow Mad Mad on Instagram, it's at Mad Maniacs. This is him 11 minutes ago to the coast. He's bringing something very special here. He's on his way today, driving from Kagan Dioro. <laughs> oh, and I forgot, we also have a whole ton of wood chips. What are you going to do with these? For a paso. Ah, paso. Put it on top of the... Madman! There's a whole lot of wood chips waiting for you, my friend. Lots of cleaning. <laughs> lots, lots of cleaning, lots of, lots of little projects, uh, good vibes. Things to pile up. Oh. We're excited. This is wood chips. Kumar's actually using them for paaso. Uh, Not paasa. Not paasa. Paaso. Paaso. If you didn't know, paasa is one of my favorite words in the Philippines. Paasa. It refers to getting people's hopes up and then not following through. It'd be like if I was like, hey Kumar, yeah, I'm gonna help you with, I'm gonna help you with the uh, with the wood chips, bro. And then I just don't show up and help him with the wood chips. That's paasa. It's like giving hope, but then not following through. Bad man! To the coast, my friend! If you're in the Philippines, it was just declared Tag Ulan by Pagasa, that's the main weather people, which actually means rainy season because Habagat is almost here. But for us in Mindanao, this really is, well, at least in this part of Mindanao, Tag in it. And finally, it's feeling like summer here. A lot of people enjoying the beach, you can see them this morning. And this past weekend, actually, there's a lot of people enjoying the beach. It's nice to see. Finally, good vibes. So many bugs lately. Yeah. Kumar's destroying the bugs by creating a little bit of smoke. Woo! Smoky mornings. Smoky mornings. <laughs> that chicken just won't. Oh, the chicken just won't stop it. Okay, everybody go on the smoke and have a coffee. Tabby up. Tabby, tabby, poo. I don't know if you can see it correctly, but that there is Butiki Ta'i. Butiki is a Filipino word for house gecko. Those little mini geckos I showed you the other night, every day I find their poo kicking around. Which is why every morning I gotta kinda shake things out, get the silhig. Luckily it dries fast, so tight, so you can just still take it away. Wah! Friendly reminder, if you ever get a silhig, get a little piece of kind of rubber put at the top, so... You can just hang it around the house because if you just leave that standing, it kind of makes the broom fan out and not be as good. Walis, Silhig, broom, the best. Oh, what's that? Aha, better than bread. 
What's this? Biscotto. Wow, yeah. I love biscotto. Excellent, me too. Biscotto house, yes, yes, yes. From Ilo Ilo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't script this any better. Classic in the morning, always have bread in the Philippines. <laughs> Correct. So far, I've had chickens wake me up at 4.30. Oh, Did why? You, I, they were having like, I don't know, chicken wars down the road. Like, uh, mm. it was like, I think the Kuya's place, the chicken there disturbed our chicken. And then they're having like that burk, 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 <laughs> battle. <laughs> and then, uh, besides that as well, I found lots of butiki tai all over the house. Oh, classic! No, am I saying that correctly? Butiki. 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 It's like house gecko. Um, as you can see by Mama Rosa's reaction, it's very classic. No, lots of in the province. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I think in general, all over the yeah. country, it doesn't even matter yes, if you're in the province or not. Especially in the province, there's a lot of boutique here. Oh, yeah. but maybe it's good luck when they every morning I have to sweep the house. Biscotto, this is literally the best of the best in our opinion. Yeah. yeah. Because what happens is this biscotto, Maroon Gunting, I say Gunting. No, I oh. okay. <laughs> Okay, Mama Rose has a giant knife. She's gonna open the biscotto. We were we were discussing how in the Philippines, biscotto is everywhere, yeah. uh, even here in the province. But a lot of people make it using the bahao. Bahao refers to kind of old, leftover, leftover, leftover bread. bread. But you can also say bahao for like leftover rice. Yeah, yeah. Bahau. Anything leftover. Leftover. Left bahao. But this here, this biscotto. We have a, a feeling that the biscotto house in Iloilo just makes their bread specifically for the biscotto. It's different, right? Yeah. It's the best. Because you see, maybe they put some margarine and then put white sugar on top mm. and then bake it. It's really good. You don't even need to dunk this. I have more. I'll give you another bag later. Mm. Look it. <laughs> the best. The best. Mama Rose uses Hong Tai as well. <laughs> From Biscotto. To, to bananas. Mm. Actually? Yeah, we can tuba this later. Boom. Wait, what do you mean tuba? Oh, you mean tum you mean tumba? Tuba, no, the term huh? for to harvest the saging is the tuba. Tuba? Mm. But is that is that mean to like cut a little bit? So even when you say tuba, the drink, the term tuba is to slit. To slit. Mm, that that one. gonna slit that one. How did I not know this for nine years? That oh, makes yeah. no. That makes complete sense because when you harvest tuba, <laughs> you tuba. Always becoming. Hold up, though. Hold up. What's the what's the hold up? How, what's the pronunciation difference between like if you're gonna say tuba like tuba. to drink, is it the same pronunciation? Yeah, I think the same. So, think so. you're just gonna tuba mm. like take the sagging off by using that tuba method. Mm. Like Let's go get breakfast because that's what you do in the mornings. Tuba the sagging. Call this uh what do we call this part of the barangay? Oh no, hold up. The last barangay. The last barangay right here. The last barangay. Because in the end, that's where we're all gonna end up. <laughs> my buntag! Ugana <laughs> numaga, my aga, mafia ma papita! Alianis, they do breakfast meals. We're gonna experience the breakfast meals this morning. Support our Salingan! No! Is that for your breakfast? Yes. Okay, hot dog fried rice. But, what, what, what do you have available for breakfast? Like, what's the actual... Uh, we have hot dog with rice and egg. Uh, tocino, chorizo. They make a homemade tocino, didn't yeah, they? they have. Yes. What type of tocino is it? It's meat. Huh? Pork. pork. You would, I think that was pork. You pork. Had, you've had it before? I had it yesterday. Really? Okay. It's good. We're gonna check out the classic tocino. Is it tosilog? 
Yes. Toasty log. Toasty We're log. going toasty log this morning. Let's do it. Is it true you have an entire group chat just about Madman driving across Mindanao right now? Yeah. Can you show the CCTV footage of Madman? Of Madman in Claveria only 20 minutes ago. That's Jeprox on. So that there is Jeprox on the left, Madman on the right. We got eyes and ears from north to south, all over the Philippines. Madman is driving Jeprox back to the coast because I have some big plans with Jeprox. In the meantime, Kumar has a group chat with all of our friends. Is Boding in there too? Yes. <laughs> Boding is there. Boding is having fun with Madman. <laughs> In Bisaya, that's Pinikas Nubulat. Bulat Pinikas. Bulat Pinikas. But in Tagalog, it's Toyo. 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 And then you'd say. Nahiniwa. Nahiniwa. Toyo Nahiniwa. Nahiniwa. Toyo Nahiniwa. That sounds like a. Nahiniwa! Like a. Wah! Ah, they have CV there? Yes. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Look at this. What? Whoa. Go, 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 Kumar. Another best thing about province life is you just go to the garden. Oh, dude, they got a lot of silly. Oh my gosh, man. Look at them all. Dude. Are you going to get a bunch? For the suka, for the balad? So, turns out... Hey! Best friend, best friend, best friend. Oh my god! Best friend. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was terrifying! Okay. I'll talk to you in a sec. Oh my gosh, that was hardcore. The coffee is actually corn coffee, native coffee, mm -hmm. maize coffee. Power coffee. Uh, there was no Ticino, they ran out, so I couldn't show you the toasty log this morning. Instead, we just got a giant plate of bulad. Trees, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gotta eat, and egg. Let's go. Mm. Can we ascend your mind? I like my bulad not so crispy and a little bit thicker. This is really good bulad. Ahos, chili from the garden. My bulad. We started up here on the deck. We're gonna finish stuff here on the deck. I just got really motivated this morning by that chicken waking me up. I was like, I gotta vlog stuff. I wanna share some positive education and just chilled morning vibes. The water is so clear right now. Uh, it still amazed me how years ago, nobody really took notice of this beach because it wasn't white sand. But the sand here is creamy, very, very creamy, very Brockai-like. It's just not white. But the water, gets really clear when the days are calm like today. Although it is a tiny bit windy, a few white caps out there, but yeah, good mornings, good vibes. Mama Rose, saw the other neighbors, supported their local business. Um, what else, chickens, Kumar. 
I'm gonna go back to sleep, take a nap now, because it's been a busy morning and I woke up super early.